Hello friends, uh, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to compare two smartphones with massive battery that's a 5000mAh battery the Lenovo P2 with the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max so these two phones are relatively new devices but they, they differ a lot in uh, uh, their specifications and uh, uh, they are similar in the battery performance that's a 5000mAh battery so in this video we'll compare which is a better device to buy uh, because both these devices are priced differently the Lenovo uh, P2 is priced at 16999 and 17999 for the two variants while the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max uh, should be priced around uh, the 14k pricing but we are not really sure about the pricing but it should be around that price so it is cheaper than the Lenovo P2 but offer lower specs than the P2 so in, in this video we'll compare all the aspects so let's get started so first up the design and build quality so design wise you can see uh, both are quite uh, decent looking devices out there uh, the, uh, the Lenovo P2 has a 5.5 inch dis display while it's uh, 5.2 inches on the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max and you can see that uh, the Zenfone 3S Max has uh, curved edges uh, on the rear panel while it's uh, tapered with uh, chamfered edges on the Lenovo P2 and the finishing also looks slightly better on the Lenovo P2 it does give a premium feel for the additional pricing it is being offered at but uh, the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max also provide pretty good experience all around because of the metallic design now uh, you can also see that both these devices have front facing fingerprint scanner and you can see the power and volume keys on the right side and uh, the sim tray is on the left side for both the devices we also have an additional uh, slider which uh, enables the ulti ultimate power saving mode on the Lenovo P2 so design wise you could say that uh, both are quite decent looking device out there the build quality is slightly better on the Lenovo P2 now let's talk about the display so we have a, a 5.2 inch uh, display on the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max while it's a 5.5 inch screen size on the Lenovo P2 the P2 offers full HD display and it's a super AMOLED panel while the Zenfone 3S Max provides an HD display that's a 720p display so the display quality obviously is better on the Lenovo P2 uh, the it has two advantages one is full HD display and it's a super AMOLED panel which gives advantage to the Lenovo P2 when compared to the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max uh, Zenfone 3S Max also provides a decent display for this price point it's quite a decent uh, overall but it's not uh, up to the mark of uh, what uh, the Lenovo P2 offers now let's talk about the software so we have two uh, custom UIs the Lenovo's YBI versus the Zenfone's Zen UI so uh, the additional uh, uh, good aspect for the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max is that it comes with Android 7.0 out of the box while it's Android 6.0 Marshmallow on the Lenovo's YBUI. So now let's first talk about uh, the Lenovo P2. It has this YBUI which is more or less talk like experience. You can also see it has uh, some added features including a double tap to wake, a smart scene, a white touch, a VR mode support is also included. And it also has this uh, uh, dual app profile uh, and some added features included. And the fingerprint scanner uh, acts as the navigation button as well on uh, the Lenovo P2. You can also disable the on-screen navigation button and use the fingerprint scanner so there is also support for themes uh, you can uh, customize the device with a few themes available so all in all it's uh, it's a custom UI but it does have a lot of resemblance with the stock UI now talking about the Zen UI so this is the latest version of Zen UI on top of Android uh, uh, 7.0 and you can see it implements the Android 7.0 UI uh, you can uh, see it also comes with additional features uh, like uh, customized settings uh, Zen Motion is included, there is support for themes, fingerprint scanner, easy mode, kids mode. So added features are included and it's a heavily skinned UI with a lot of features as well. So it uh, it is uh, definitely much more customizable than the Lenovo's uh, uh, YBUI. Uh, but uh, it does have some bloatware included, that's one of the major issues with this device. Apart from that, it uh, does look a uh, good UI and uh, it's a feature rich UI. So it's a personal choice on whether you want uh, uh, the Zen UI or the Lenovo's YBUI. Now talking about the performance, so this is one area where the Lenovo P2 has an edge because it's powered by the Snapdragon 61625 Octa-Core uh, chipset which is coupled with a 3 gigs of RAM or 4 gigs of RAM with a 32 gigs of storage. On the other hand, the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max is uh, powered by the MediaTek MT6750 Octa-Core chipset coupled with 3 gigs of RAM. So the Snapdragon 625 is definitely more powerful than the MediaTek chipset which is kind of uh, not the best performing chipset out there. 
Now looking at the benchmark scores, you can clearly see the Snapdragon 625 is way ahead of uh, the MT6750 in the benchmark scores and this actually shows up in the uh, um, in the performance as well. You can see that the gaming performance is much better on the Lenovo P2 when compared to the Zenfone 3S Max which had some laggy lagginess and not the best experience overall. So all in all in terms of the performance is the Lenovo P2 which is a winner because of the Snapdragon 625 chipset. Now both the phones come with a dual SIM card and micro SD card, both are hybrid SIM card and supports a 4G. Now the speaker performance is better on the Lenovo P2 and the call quality is quite decent on both the phones. Now let's talk about the fingerprint scanner. Both the fingerprint scanners are located on the front panel but the fingerprint scanner experience is better on the Lenovo P2 which unlocks the device in a really good time while the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max has this uh, issue and the fingerprint scanner is not really fast. It unlocks, uh, uh, it, uh, it is a mostly a hit and miss affair, not the best experience on the front facing fingerprint scanner. Next up, let's talk about the camera. So we have 13 megapixel camera on both the devices uh, and we have a dual tone dual LED flash on both the devices. Pixel camera on the Lenovo P2 while it's an 8 megapixel shooter on the uh, Zenfone 3S Max. Now comparing the UI you could clearly see that uh, the Zenfone UI offers much better features and options and also modes when compared to the Lenovo P2. Now talking about the camera uh, samples taken between these two devices, both are quite uh, average performers in this category, N neither of them offers a really great uh, or class leading performance in the bad camera department and uh, here our choice would be the Lenovo P2 which offers slightly better quality and overall sharpness levels and also low light performance looks slightly better than uh, the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max. So ASUS Zenfone 3S Max is a decent performer but again the color quality was not really accurate and um, uh, we would say the Lenovo P2 offers slightly better camera abilities than the Len uh, ASUS Zenfone 3S Max. Uh, neither of these devices are class leading. Now finally the battery performance. So both the phones have 5000 mAh battery. Now one is a 625 powered chipset and it has a full HD display and a bigger display while the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max uh, has a smaller display and also in a, it's an HD panel but it does not have a really efficient uh, processor. So the battery performance when we tested we found that the Lenovo P2 offers uh, better performance than the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max. We could easily get through almost 2.5 days of battery life with uh, uh, the Lenovo P2 because of the Snapdragon 625 which is a really efficient, uh, power efficient uh, chipset. Uh, the Zenfone 3S Max is also a really good uh, device in terms of the battery performance and you can get to almost uh, close to 2 days of battery life but it will not be the Lenovo P2 in terms of the battery experience. So now summing up, uh, uh, the Lenovo P2 has the advantage that it has a slightly premium build, it has a better display, the software is uh, kind of okay, uh, it's uh, a decent uh, UI and the performance is really good, cameras are slightly better and the battery performance is also better. The ASUS Zenfone 3S Max has the advantage that it has quite good uh, uh, build quality, it's, um, uh, it's a compact device. The software is really good because it is Android 7.0, one of the few devices offering 7.0 at this price point. The cameras are kind of average and battery life looks okay and uh, this is priced lower than uh, the Lenovo P2. So if you are on a tight budget, definitely ASUS Zenfone 3S Max is uh, the choice because it's priced lower than the P2. But if you're looking for a premium experience, definitely uh, the Lenovo P2 is the better choice because it offers better value for money than the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max. So our choice would be the Lenovo P2 which is priced 16999. So that was the detailed comparison of the Lenovo P2 with the ASUS Zenfone 3S Max. So hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.